So those are the couple of price points that I'm looking at sometime over the next. All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I wanna bring you a video on a company called Riot Blockchain, stock ticker R-I-O-T. Riot is a Bitcoin miner and they gave their monthly January update. So I wanna go through that. We cover Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners quite a bit on this channel. So if that's content you're interested in, uh, please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And of course, if you like this video, please smash the like button. Okay, so let's take a look at this month's press release. This was put out on February 4th, which was this Friday. Riot Blockchain announces January production and operations update. So most of these Bitcoin miners, the larger ones that have been around a while, are giving us monthly updates now on their Bitcoin production and their overall operations. So Riot has been very diligent at doing that as well. So let's take a look at what they have to say about January. Okay, first thing, Riot produces 458 Bitcoin in January 2022 and curtails energy usage in response to February Texas winter storms. Production updates. In January 2022, Riot produced 458 Bitcoin, an increase of approximately 252% as compared to the January 2021 production of 130 Bitcoin. So, you know, that's year over year. And as I'm going to show you shortly, this company has grown massively over the course of the last year. So more importantly, I want to just take a quick look and compare month over month which I think for most of these Bitcoin mining companies, as they're in this high growth mode and adding so much hash rate, the month over month comparison is the most meaningful. So if I go to last month's update, in December, Riot produced 425 Bitcoin. So obviously that is an increase. So month over month, the numbers look good and 458 is a big number. I will be doing a video comparing all of the Bitcoin miners January production, but this is going to be among the largest ones. As of January 31st, 2022, Riot held approximately 5,347 Bitcoin, all produced by the company's self-mining operations. I think they're in second place for most self-mined Bitcoin. In any event, that's one of the larger amounts of Bitcoin held on any of the miners' balance sheets. So that's an impressive number. Riot currently has a deployed fleet of approximately 32,552 miners with a hash rate capacity of 3.4 exahash per second. At the end of January, they were at 3.4 exahash per second. I just want to compare that to the end of December and let's see what kind of progress they made. Back to the December press release, they say Riot currently has developed fleet of approximately 29,593 miners with a hash rate capacity of 3.1 exahash per second. So they were able to go from 3.1 exahash to 3.4 exahash. Later in this press release, they talk about their plans for what I consider to be February and March. So there's some exciting stuff later. And I guess later is actually right now. Mining deployment and shipment updates. Since its last monthly update, the company deployed approximately 3,000 S19J Pros with 7,924 additional miners staged for deployment. So that means they have received them, they're staged, they're ready to be deployed. Additionally, 5,768 S19J Pros have been shipped from Bitmain and are expected to be received during February of 2022. Once the staged miners and those from the February deliveries are employed, Riot expects to have a total of 46,244 miners deployed with a hash rate capacity of approximately 4.7 exahash. So that is a gigantic leap. In December, they were at 3.1. In January, they're at 3.4. And the way I'm reading this, it looks like the 7,924 that are received and staged for deployment it looks like those will probably get deployed in February and that will put them over four exahash, well over four exahash. And then the, the next 5,768 that are in transit are more likely to get staged and deployed in March. So I think 4.7 exahash by the end of March is probably a realistic goal for Riot. I'm gonna go way back in our time machine for just a minute here and show you one year ago. So this is a press release they put out on February 11th, 2021. So again, that's just one week short of one year ago today. Riot blockchain achieves milestone of one exahash in hash rate capacity. So this company just last February got to one exahash. It looks like this February, they're gonna get to four exahash. So that's a four X on their mining capacity in a 12 month period of time. And then in March, it looks like they're gonna to get to 4.7 and they have a lot more planned where that came from. 
Global logistics issues have impacted some minor shipment schedules, including a delayed January shipment that has been pushed into the month of February. Riot remains in close communication with Bitmain and logistics providers working to mitigate delays where possible. So much like the rest of the Bitcoin mining space and really the rest of every industry, there still is some logistics and supply chain issues going on out there. However, you can see despite that, Riot is growing their hash rate at a very fast pace. So by Q4 2022, Riot anticipates a total self-mining hash rate capacity of 12.8 exahash per second. So right now they're at 3.4. We know how they're going to get to 4 in February, 4.7 in March, and they're looking to get to 12.8 by the end of the year. The four that they're hoping to jump to by the end of this month, they hope to more than 3x that by the end of 2022. So they have very aggressive growth schedule. And despite the fact they've had a little bit of shipment delays, it looks like they're pretty much staying close to on track. Bitcoin treasury management. So this is just a little bit of their philosophy. Different companies have taken different philosophies on holding their Bitcoin. So they say Riot is monitoring its balance sheet on an ongoing basis, evaluating the level of Bitcoin retained from monthly production in consideration of operational and, and expansion cash requirements. The company continues to hold a long-term view on its Bitcoin holdings and believes that it is in the best interest of shareholders to have strong Bitcoin holdings on its balance sheet. So I think they're reiterating their hold position. They're not saying they're going to hold 100% of everything, but, they're, but they are letting you know the balance sheet is important to them and they believe increasing the number of Bitcoin on their balance sheet is important. So I think we can expect to see that philosophy continue throughout this year. All right, so let's look at where Riot actually is in the market right now. So they closed Friday up 12%. Now, Bitcoin had a fantastic day on Friday. I think it was its best day in, in like six or eight months. So as a result, Riot was up 12% during the trading hours, and you can see they were up another 4% after trading hours. So a very nice day for Riot. Having said that, you're going to see their stock price is lagging, as are many of the Bitcoin miners at this point. So I believe there's a lot of room for growth in their stock price here. And again, I want to reiterate, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial analyst. So you guys need to dig into this on your own and, and see what you think as to whether or not Riot is a good buying decision for you in your portfolio. Okay, so their market cap is now under $2 billion. It's at $1.9 billion. And I just want to show you a chart real quick to put things in perspective. So back in February, one year ago, they their market cap was $6.4 billion. And we know that they had a press release in February because we looked at it that said their hash rate was 1.0. Well, now they're closing in on 4.0. So that's four times the hash rate. Yet they've gone from a $6.4 billion company to under a $2 billion company. You can see there was a drastic pullback through May, and then a peak here on November 12th, which was just within a few days of Bitcoin reaching its all-time high. They got back to $4.2 billion, still nowhere near the six-plus billion dollars they were earlier in the year. Even from that point in November, this stock has been cut in more than half from a market cap standpoint. And I like to look at market cap because it takes the discussion of how much dilution there is out of the equation. This is the market cap after any stock issuing, whether it be through compensation or raising money. This is their market cap. So you can see it's now a year later and they're one third the size market cap they were, even though they're four times the size exahash they were. Okay, I'm going to start on the Riot daily candle chart. So each one of these candles is one day. So this is basically the last year. From their peak at just under $80 back last February to today, which is very near their lows, they're down over 78%. If we look at their highs from November, they're still actually down 64% just from November. So that was just three months ago. So this stock has lost 64% of its value in the last three months. A lot of that is due to the downward pressure in Bitcoin, but a lot more of that is due to the downward pressure in the overall market and in particular, these types of small cap high growth stocks. So it's my opinion that this is oversold. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and show you why I think that. For those of you who watch the channel, you'll know that I always go back to September 29th. That was the low at the end of the September Bitcoin bear market. So all of the Bitcoin miners hit their low somewhere within one day of September 29th. So that 
That low was a line of support for many months for all of the Bitcoin miners. But you can see that in late December, that line of support broke down starting since December 27th. On the 28th, we went under that. On September 29th, Bitcoin was at 41,500. Well, Bitcoin's at 41,500 right now. All this additional downward pressure from this line of support is beyond what makes sense to me. This is the portion that I think is oversold at a bare minimum. And again, this is not financial advice. This is how I'm looking at the chart. Apples to apples, Bitcoin is at the exact same spot that it was back on this day, and yet Riot is significantly below that. And I'll show you how much below. So to get back to this purple line of support, Riot stock needs to have a 50% increase in its price. So that is very significant. So to me, that 50%, is if Bitcoin stays healthy and stays on the right trajectory, that 50%, I think they just need to make up because that's just to get back to where they were when Bitcoin was already at $41,000, which it is right now. The only things that have changed since then is Riot's hash rate is up, Riot's production is up, Riot's total amount of Bitcoin on their balance sheet is way up. So all good things since then, and yet the stock price is lagging 50% behind. Another price target I wanna look at is on December 3rd. Now, December 3rd was the flash crash for Bitcoin. So Bitcoin was trading in the 57 to $58,000 range at that point, and it, we've been nowhere near that since we traded from 57 down to about 42,000 that day, and then we settled somewhere around 47,000, and we've been heading slowly downward ever since. We appeared to have bottomed out last week at around 33,000, although you never know, we could go back and do some retesting, and we're now at back at 41,500. Just to get from where Riot is trading today back to where it was trading before the flash crash. So again, this is not back to its 52-week high. In fact, this is less than half of its 52-week high. So this already represents a point where Riot was down more than 50%. So in order to get back to just this point, that would be a 107% increase in the price of their stock. So more than a double. So those are the couple of price points that I'm looking at sometime over the next three to nine months. And, and the first price point, that first 50% that they have to get back, I believe that is a realistic price target for somewhere near the end of the first quarter or the beginning of the second quarter. And this number that we're looking at for me personally, this would be a 12 month price target. I actually think will be above this, but I think, you know, it's fair to say this would be an aggressive one year target just as it is pulling a double. So that's Riot's January update, as well as my analysis of what, what I think it means as far as market cap goes and potential future price points. So again, not financial advice. Uh, please do your own due diligence. And thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.